I'm Mark Kornblatt, the co-founder and CEO of Game of Drones and Aerial Sports League. And we are at the Aerial Sports League Drone Sports Arena at World Maker Fair in New York City. The drone combat rules are really simple. You start with three points each. Each time you hit the ground and can't get back up, or if you get caught in the net, you lose a point. And so the first person to reach zero is eliminated. If you knock a person down and you hit the ground, if you can get back up within three seconds, we consider that a touch and go. So in that final point, you have to be clean and make a clean kill on the other opponent. When you do hit the ground or if you get caught in the net, you have 90 seconds to either fix your drone or get it un unstuck from the net. And so what we end up with is really exciting dogfighting and then really exciting engineering all combined together. Basically, when I am fighting, I'm trying to get that aerial supremacy of getting above. But at the same time, I'm trying to like hit the other props and turn off my props at the same time. So it's stopping the spin. In the beginning, we used just to go at it, bam, and they fall down. Pretty uneventful and just repair time. So we kind of like came up with a technique. It's kind of like a capoeira style of like hitting the vein but come really close. And so you'll see us like our propellers hit a lot. Right. Right, right, right. And it's more exciting. And really, it's for us, it's more compelling because that could take you out, but we like to fly a little bit more. So I see two, three, four years from now, things like this happening in every town, in every city, in every municipality. Drone racing on TV, huge arenas filled with drone sports. It, it's clearly coming, and it seems like it's coming faster than most hobbies turn into a, a vocation.